Oh my. Uh, JB's gonna wear her new sweater that we just got at H&M and it says, I just want to dance. The only thing I don't like about it is that it is sequenced. It's, uh, you know, delicate. But it's just so cute with a flower. I know, you get a piece of chocolate for going potty. You could get these at like the Asian market, they're much smaller. But we give her a one now instead of a two because, you know, she's going to pee a lot. Who's downstairs? <laughs> So <laughs> look, you and JV are kind of matching. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead, Kay Bear. Yeah, JV. You're so close. Are you going to walk? <laughs> Come on, Keeper. <laughs> She's like, look, Mom, one handed. Hold on. Oh, Miss Ayoko. Oh. She's like, no, 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 I got this, I got this. How in dirty life. No, there's just one. <laughs> I know, I know, baby, you're next. You're next. You got this, Mia. You got it? Go ahead. Woo! Coffee. More coffee. So today I am um, interviewing the people from the charity that we're going to be focusing on, um, Rescue Freedom. And they wanted to meet at their friend's uh, coffee roaster business. It's called Cafe Luso. It's uh, based in the Bellevue area, which is near Seattle. We've got all the coffees in the raw state. Yeah, I bet you didn't know coffee wasn't really brown. Uh, they roast it and it becomes that color. Like a roaster? I am the roaster. You are the roaster? That's uh, our little Diedrich IR-12 all day. And mm, cool. And turn that beautiful green coffee into the coffee that we know and enjoy. Sweet. This coffee right here is our Rescue Freedom International blend. Oh. And every single bag uh -huh. that we sell yeah. uh, provides one Look day of care logo. for a woman or child in human trafficking. Wow. That's been rescued. And so you can see here, we've already provided over 1,100 days of care. So you've literally sold 1,100 of these? Yes. And, oh, wow. Uh, also, we offer those in five pound bags for offices uh -huh. and churches and other organizations like that. Um, and every five pound bag at the wholesale level still provides one day of care. Well, maybe I have to make this two. 1,102. You can make that happen. <laughs> yeah. And how do you do? Kira finger, Kira finger, Kira finger, where are you? Here I am, here I am, how do you do? <laughs> Dance Kira, dancing finger, dancing finger, Kira girl, look at her. <laughs> so now we're going to experience a latte here. So we are going to the mall today again. It's like the third time this week. But we're gonna get Santa photos taken and if all goes well, I'm gonna pierce Mia and Kira's ears too because there's a place there at the mall. All right, you're welcome. Go ahead, y'all. My goal Whoa. is that Santa Claus will be able to hold Mia and Kira Whoa. and JB will just stand in the middle. Worst case scenario, Whoa. I'm gonna have to be in the photo. I just don't want it to be an incomplete family, you know? It's either all the girls or the entire family. And it'd be weird if Benji was missing. Hold my hand, please. You see Santa? Mm -hmm. You're gonna say hi. We're gonna say hi and take pictures. No, no. It's okay. He's really nice. Come on. No. 
Okay, there's absolutely no line. I am confident. Come on, he's right there. No, no, no. Mom. Oh. No. Did you like him? Mm, yeah, she was crying and screaming. I would have loved to vlog it, but I was just so busy with the girls. But uh, Mia and Kira did great. In fact, I'll show you the photo right now. This way, JB. Baby sister's gonna get their ears pierced. Yeah. Heart. 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 So mom said I actually got my ears pierced here. Not this exact one, but Goda. How old is that? Oh, in San Diego. Oh, six years. We did some great interviews. This is Jeremy and Dell of Rescue Freedom. So thank you so much for meeting me. Absolutely, my yeah. pleasure. Yeah, and thank you for having me at this awesome venue too. Uh, Cafe Luso has been providing the coffee, which is amazing. You can follow them on their Instagram or uh, their Facebook. The reason I came here mainly is to do interviews about Rescue Freedom. You know, we're running Dan Semmer this month. We're raising $100,000, and I want you guys to know that your money is going to a good place. So first off, thank you so much for meeting with me today. Thank you. Uh, is there anything you want to say to the viewers? We're just so excited about what you guys are doing for Dance Ember, and uh, super excited. You know, dancing and human trafficking, a lot of people wouldn't think those coincide, yeah. but what motivates us to do what we do, and we talk about this in the interview, is because there's hope. We get to work with the survivors that have been rescued um, and seeing them experience new life. And so there's actually a lot to celebrate and a lot of good reason to dance because people are being rescued out of one of the most horrific crimes against humanity. They're being rescued and they're finding new life. So there's a lot to dance about, there's a lot to celebrate, and we would love to, if you guys would donate and support this campaign. Um, every dollar counts to help bring care to provide a trafficking survivor with the things they need to experience healing. Safe housing, education, yeah. shelter, care, medicine, all of those things that they need to really experience healing and restoration. So thank you. Dell here is the one that I met first. When I first emailed or I think emailed you, did you believe me when I said no. Yeah, no. yeah did you no, think I was one of crazy. the Yeah it's a, <laughs> so tell me about that and then tell me about Rescue Freedom what you do. So yeah, well, when Benji and I first met I, I got this random email through yeah. through mutual friends and just thought this is the craziest thing I've ever heard of this can't yeah. be for real but the more that I looked into it yeah, this yeah. is the real deal. It's an honor to invite you into the story and I got invited in the story by Jeremy. Uh, and so several years ago after a trip to India Jeremy he came over to house, our house for dinner and shared with us a little bit of the story of what he saw and experienced. Not only the, the difficulty of human trafficking and seeing that firsthand, but the hope for those that have gone through restoration and the change that happens in their life. But there was this moment after he was telling this story to me uh, that I, I, I remember going to bed that night thinking, man, I wish he wouldn't have told me this. I wish that he hadn't made me aware that this is some huge global problem on a scale that I had a hard time even 
grasping, yeah. uh, but there was this definite sense of, but I can make a difference in this, and I do want to get involved in this story, and that, that we are seeing so many people making a difference, and we invite you to be part of that, being one of those that are jumping in and being a part of this issue and making the difference, because there is hope. One of the key differences about this charity versus other charities we've done in the past are the people that are directly being affected, the victims, are people that live lives of absolutely no hope. There is no one looking out for them. You know, they don't even have the resources available to them. So what Rescue Freedom does is give them the resources, give them the support, and more importantly, plant the seed of hope. And that's why I think it's so awesome. The link will be down below. We're having a slow start this year to Dan Samber, but I know from here on out, we're gonna do a strong push. Thank you so much for what you guys do um, in, at Rescue Freedom, and thank you so much for having me. I look forward to working with you guys this month. So. Absolutely. Do you see Mia's ears? There's Kira's ears. I have a turkey sandwich with avocado and tomato and cheese. What are you eating? All done. All done? Yeah, she's having a cutie orange and a turkey roll and some cheese. Nami. Phil here. It's Phil, right? Yeah. Just made me a uh, cappuccino. Is that what it is? Uh, la a la latte. Cafe latte. I don't usually have these, so this is a little treat for me. That'll change your life. Oh, gosh. It just gets better and better, too. Finally getting around to editing my video of JB doing my makeup. I edited a little bit the other day, but with the complications of my computer, it was so hard. But anyway, uh, I thought it was pretty funny. Um, I don't know. There's like there's a lot of footage. I think it was 25 minutes. This will be up on my mommy channel. I'm hoping by the time you watch this. Turka turka turka. I probably had equivalent of two and a half cups of coffee, which usually I drink like half a cup a day. Cafe Luso. The people there, Phil. He's the owner. They are some of the most passionate people I've ever met about coffee. So if you want to talk about people who love coffee and know what they're doing, they are the ones. They're a small roaster right here in the Seattle area. Check out their Instagram, okay? Follow them, support them. We need more people making coffee like they are. But just taking a break, I have not eaten anything other than a banana today. So between the coffee and not eating, I need this. I just looked at the baby monitor and Kira's standing up again and she's upset. Hi. Kira are having pears with sweet potato, which I just peeled. Uh, I just gotta puree the pears. It's gonna be delicious. Right now they're just snacking. <gasps> Did you finish your orange already? Mm -hmm. Wow, and she peeled it all by herself too. Good what? job, baby. What? More? Okay, let's see if we have more. Plenty more for JB. Now let's do this one. I start it for her and then she no, finishes. Oh snap, okay. Everything is JB turn. Getting out of the car, going up on the toilet, peeling her own food. She's ready to move out. JB, are you ready to move out? Mm -hmm. Yeah? I just got home and these cuties are laughing. Love it. Hello! Hi guys! Hello! <laughs> <sighs> oh my ladies! Who's that lady? Who's that lady? Cutie ladies! I 
think there's something wrong with her ears. Why? What? Both ears? <laughs> what do you mean both ears? No, Seriously. <laughs> when did you do that? Today. Where at? At the mall. Which mall? Uh... <laughs> you look miserable. You look absolutely well, miserable. There was another... <laughs> There was another picture where JB was crying and the girls had a smirk, yeah. but Santa's eyes were closed. <laughs> Whoa. Don't worry, you're next. What? Wiping? You're so mean. <laughs> Sophia? <laughs> You're okay, K Bear. Just try again. It's okay. <laughs> try again, baby. Here. Cheese, mommy. Here. You can play. Mommy, cheese. Oh. You okay? Okay, ready? One, two, eight. <laughs> I'm trying to take a picture here. Okay, ready? Turn around. One, two, three. Cheese. <laughs> Are you? Playing around. Cheese, mommy. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Cheese! <laughs> oh my gosh, my little jokes are. Oh! Hey, JB, I forgot your advent calendar. She already opened up um, day one. Actually, you're, two, you're still two days behind. Come here. Did I even mention this yesterday? I don't know, but because of her potty train, she has so much candy more, throughout the day. Mommy, more. I figure she doesn't need more, any mommy, more, more through the advent calendar, so. More, mommy, more. Oh no, that's not, that's for 24. Today, let's see, can you find four? Where's four? Number four. four. <gasps> I found number four. Is this four? Mm -hmm. Okay, you gonna open it? Mm -hmm. Okay, pull it out. Pull. Now pee? Yeah. You could take it out. Here. There you go. Good job. Okay, and then we're going to put it up. See? Good job, Key Bear. So you just try and try again. Oh, but you can't roll over your sister. Back from yoga not too long ago, and today was the best session I've ever had. Well, <laughs> There's only been like three, but this time I got there pretty early, like 20 minutes early. And the whole drive there, I was thinking, okay, I need to mentally prepare myself and calm myself down. And I lay down there for 15 minutes in the heat and did some breathing exercises. And it was like a miracle. Like I just whipped right through the class. I mean, it was still a challenge, but it was a lot better. So. Um, I think I'm going to do that next time, just take my time, because last time I was in a rush, and um, I was really exhausted and lightheaded, but this time was good. Hey, this looks amazing. Is this a schnitzel? Yeah, this is a schnitzel. It's not deep fried, it's just pan fried. I can't get over those cute earrings. Oh, shake it off. Oh. Juliana, do you want seaweed? <laughs> what do you say? Please. Say seaweed, please. Seaweed, please. <laughs> it's wild to me that I like it so much. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Can I have one? Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Guys, you used to eat. Two of those in one sitting. Um, two of the packages? Yeah. <laughs> um, so I'm like trying to read them. He was just kind of like very. Uh, hey, Juliana, can I have the rest? No! Oh, mine. Okay, okay. Can I have one? I know. Is it yummy? Uh, I shake it off. I shake it off. Uh, I shake it off, I shake it off. Play is gonna play, 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 play. And the haters gonna hate. Comment of the day is from Mari Cook to Glam. 
and she writes, Is it just me or does JB look and sound just like the little girl from the Google commercial that comes out on YouTube channel that says, The moon! The moon! I've seen that commercial several times whenever I watch videos on YouTube. And I remember the first time JB ever said, Mom, the moon! I'm like, Oh my god, she sounds like her! So the other day, several days ago, I forget, maybe it was like five days ago, when we were outside walking and she said that, I was like, oh my gosh, it melted my heart because she sounded just like the little girl and I thought it was so cute. So um, anyway, yeah, thanks for your comment. Oh my gosh, I just got a message or I saw it on Facebook that somebody received my palette sent to Australia with none of the eyeshadows in it and that's horrible. It's obviously a manufacturer mistake. I believe she said that she contacted BH and then they are going to refund her money because I don't think they have any more in stock. However, I saw that they had some on sale at Zulily today. So I'm assuming BH took um, a bunch of their stock and reserved it for Zulily. But last I checked, they sold out on Zulily today. So crazy. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching today's vlog and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye! Died in the other camera. Is it good? Can I have some? We should get another one because that's hella good. Ooh, that's yummy.